we never really think about the pressure wrestlers are under, especially those in WWE. Aside from a worldwide audience that's watching, the first person they're going to see when they walk through that curtain is one Vincent Kennedy McMahon. That can go one of many ways, and naturally what no one wants is a swift shake of the head. You won't get any more than that at the time as Vinnie Mac is producing the damn show, meaning you have to wait for the fallout. That cannot be fun. The wrath of the boss hanging over your head like the sword of Damocles. It happens though, and that news often then leaks out into the big bad world. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is 10 WWE matches that made Vince McMahon angry. Number 10, Seth Rollins vs. Dean Ambrose at TLC 2018. McMahon wasn't overly angry at this one, but he was apparently bored. As Seth and Dean tried to build their match solely, they suffered mostly because of where they were on the card. Slam between Daniel Bryan vs. AJ Styles and the women's triple threat match, which were designed to ramp the crowd up, Rollins and Ambrose had to curb their would-be brawl. Fans that night weren't pleased, as they started chanting boring, and that was echoed backstage as Vince felt the same. Personally, I didn't think it was that bad, although an all-out war would have made more sense to the story, but either way, McMahon was not pleased at all, making no bones about it when speaking to the duo and the road agent for the fight. It must have impacted Rollins to some degree as he apologised on social media and even referenced it on TV. He's also been spicing his matches up recently as he goes out of his way to bounce back. Doesn't have much to worry about, I don't think, but all the evidence this didn't go to plan is certainly there. Number 9, Jerry Show vs Legacy at Night of Champions 2009. An opening match this time, but even that's not enough to get a free pass. Reports at the time stated that McMahon was so displeased with this, he hurled his headset across the room. Not sure who that benefits, but he must have been livid. PW Insider made this known as well as adding that Vince threw a fit in the aftermath. What on earth was he expecting? The reason seems to come from it being too slow paced as aside from the barn burner he was hoping for. The idea clearly was to get the audience hooping and hollering and instead, at least the McMahon, everybody involved did the opposite. It should be pointed out that in 2009 both these teams were heels, so that likely didn't help. Who are you meant to cheer for? No one was the answer, and then all of the above went down, probably because of that very reason. Number 8, Kevin Owens vs Chris Jericho at WrestleMania 33. Vince McMahon did not like Kevin Owens' performance at WrestleMania 33. Revealed during the 365 documentary on the prize fighter, Owens didn't feel like he had lived up to his own standards. Looking for some solace, he straight up asked the boss if they were good, to which McMahon responded, No. Can't say it any clearer than that. It was a double blow for Kevin because not only had he felt like he'd let himself down on the biggest stage possible, but that had been doubly stamped by Vince McMahon. That can't feel very good. In fact, it must outrightly suck. It also happened in the same venue Owens had watched WrestleMania 24 in, which I'm sure added an extra kick to the teeth. No one goes out to the ring to do anything but their absolute best, and it's not like Owens makes a habit out of this. Nine times out of ten, he's brilliant. He certainly made up for it a year later, but at the time, well, he didn't do anybody any favors. Number seven, Shinsuke Nakamura versus John Cena at SmackDown. Happening on the 1st of August 2017, most fans thought this rocked. Up there with his NXT run or Raw Rumble win, it was a bright spot for the King of Strong Style since he arrived in the WWE. If nothing else, we got John Cena against Shinsuke Nakamura. Not sure we ever thought that would be a thing a few years ago. Vince McMahon didn't agree though. While we all enjoyed the madness, McMahon was not a fan of how Nakamura dropped Cena on his head following a back suplex. Sports Illustrated reported that the spot had been improvised and that Nakamura had been very apologetic backstage wasn't as if he did this on purpose. That wasn't enough for Vince, however, who demanded to know why such recklessness happened in front of his eyes. It's said that Cena accepted the apology, which smoothed things over, but that didn't stop McMahon from being very, very annoyed. Maybe that's why Shinsuke got toned down so much ever since. Number 6, Ric Flair vs Randy Savage at WrestleMania 8. Back in 1992, blood was a huge no-no in WWE. The product was aimed at families as opposed to fans wanting to see red liquid spilling from a wrestler's skull. That was always going to be somewhat of an issue for Ric Flair, who had spent almost two decades doing exactly that. You'd have to imagine some of the audience tuned in to see how much the Nature Boy would bleed. And yes, that is disgusting. So with that said, you can imagine how mad Vince McMahon was when during Flair and Savage at Mania, they conveniently forgot about this and bladed anyway. Oh boy. By the end of their scrap, Flair's face was caked in the stuff with it looking like he'd been in an actual war. McMahon wasn't pleased and not only fined Flair thousands of dollars, but gave both men a good rollicking backstage. The really weird spin comes when you remember Bret Hart vs Roddy Piper also went down at WrestleMania 8 and also contained blood. The hitman was able to convince McMahon it was an accident, which probably means he went doubly hard on Flair and Savage when it happened again. 
Number 5, Chris Jericho vs Batista on Raw Even though this happened in November 2008, blood was still off the table. Vince McMahon didn't want to see it, but two people felt very differently, Batista and Chris Jericho. Booked to brawl in a steel cage, neither man thought it made any sense not to include blood, so just decided to break the rules. The finish called for Y2J to smash Big Dave in the face with a pipe which in the real world would cause someone to explode. Batista realized that without that it would look ridiculous and decided to take the hit and make his head bleed give the match the special sauce it needed. That made no difference to Vince McMahon who went nuts at both of them. Chatting on talk is Jericho years later, Batista revealed how angry the chairman had been, finding him $100,000 and everyone else involved $5,000. That disparity probably lets you know where McMahon thought the real blame lied. Because Batista is a hero, he paid everybody else's fines but still stands by his decision. Vince didn't agree because in his PG world, blood had no place. There can be no exceptions. Number 4, Diesel vs the British Bulldog at In Your House 4 1995 was not the best year for WWE. Waiting for the Attitude Era to kick in, the New Generation Era hadn't connected at all and interest in the product was down. The last thing Vince McMahon needed was a stinker of a pay-per-view, but that's what he got with In Your House 4. Out of the 6 matches, only the 1-2-3 Kid and Razor Ramon vs the Smoking Guns could be considered good, with the rest feeling very much like B pay-per-view fodder despite having names like Triple H, Goldust and Yokozuna on the card. By the time Diesel and the British Bulldog rolled around, it was already clear this wasn't going to be a night to remember and McMahon agreed. As soon as the main event was over, he threw his announcer headset to the floor and marched backstage. Bruce Pritchard had to get the brunt of it as Vince yelled at him away from the fans and I imagine he doesn't like thinking about this event anymore wasn't to the standard he expected. Number 3, Mickey James vs Trish Stratus at WrestleMania 22 WWE usually has a few guidelines that are easy to follow. Stick to the times you're given, don't take unnecessary risk to protect your opponent, and naturally, no cunnilingness. Or, you know, well, just look it up. It would seem Mickey James just didn't get this notice as she made her debut on the show of shows. Now, obviously, that's not an actual rule on the list because it should be just obvious, but James felt differently. For some reason, Mickey decided to gesture oral sex live on television. It didn't get missed by those backstage, and McMahon lost the plot when she got there. It didn't help that the finish didn't go to plan, but it still begs the question why James pushed her tongue through two fingers and made gestures towards her storyline obsession with Trish Stratton. Oh, yep, also, this act came seconds after she grabbed Trish's crotch to escape a finisher attempt. Vince was livid and he told Mickey off publicly at the gorilla position for daring to be so crass. In a 2011 interview with WrestleCast, James revealed she thought the main man would love it. She was wrong. Number 2, Rhino vs Tajiri at House Show No matter how bad things get, there's few things worse than having your match actually stopped halfway through. But in 2003, during a house show, that's exactly what happened to Rhino and Tajiri. I can only imagine their thoughts when Vince himself stormed through the curtain, cease proceedings and get on the microphone. It doesn't stop there though. As revealed when Rhino himself was chatting to Wrestling Inc, he couldn't actually hear McMahon so assumed it was just an off-the-cuff work. Then he got backstage and quickly found out that wasn't the case. Vince had been reacting to the crowd chart and boring and decided to take matters into his own hands. He thought if he sped things along, they could get to the planned bikini contest segment sooner, which obviously the entire audience would love. Thankfully the man beast laughs about it now, but it's still something we chat about because we're doing it right now. It also turned out that the former ECW alumni got a decent payoff for the night, so maybe there was some regret on behalf of Vince after all. Number 1, The Raw Rumble 2005 Still one of the strangest things you're ever likely to see in wrestling until you get context, the 2005 Rumble descended into chaos when John Cena and Batista accidentally tumbled over the ropes at the exact same moment. How it wasn't planned is amazing because they both do actually hit the floor simultaneously. As officials involved struggled to come up with a solution, Vince McMahon appeared furiously from the back barking orders like he was actually turning into a dog. He was irate. When when he attempted to slide into the ring, however, he somehow tore both his quads, meaning he had to sit comically in the ring yelling at his two giant employees. He looked like an upset child. It was an absolute disaster, of course, as now not only had the rumble been screwed, but we had all of this. In hindsight, it would have been better if Vince had directed traffic from behind the curtain, and I can only guess how he must have felt when he woke up the next day. Aside from the horrific pain. Although saying that, this is Vince McMahon, so I imagine somehow he didn't feel any pain at all. I don't know what I'm basing that on, but somehow, deep down, it just seems to make a lot of sense. Know of any other matches or angles that made Vince McMahon angry? Make sure you let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Then head over to whatculture.com and read yourself some articles and follow What Culture on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE. My name is Simon from What Culture, and I will talk to you again soon.